morning, guys. What's going on? I am. Lonnie. Hey, uh, this is, well, this is what I'm doing here. Lonnie, this, uh, turbo till. Uh, oh, thing over this, uh, this is a field road here. Well, we had the trucks come in out of this field. All the corn out here, and it made a, uh, and it made a, it made a mess with the, the compacting the ground a little hard. So this spot you're seeing is that. This came through and went, and went with a one prong whipper down through here and uh, twice. And he zigzagged it. Well, he made one round, he zigzagged it one round, and then the next round he came back and he uh, went straight and uh, to, 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 to try to wake up the pack the compaction. And uh, I'm going through now, walking it down with this. And uh, we're going to come through. And then, uh, then, then they're going to then they're going to come through. And uh, then we're going to come through. And uh, so I uh, they will come out here and spread. Uh, then a little while, I here and spread the uh, cover crop out here. This farm. this is uh, this is 145 acres you look at right here. Down. Not from that tree line all the way down from this first tree line you see right there to that tree line you see that ditch you see right there back that over there and back that way 145 acres and this is going to be in the right going to go in the right cover crop uh, and uh, we're actually right we're, we're going to thrash some of this right we're, we're, we're going to thrash some of the right combine some of it and maybe kill some of it I don't, I don't really know yet and then over there is uh, over there on the other side, in front of directly in front of us here is going wheat. Okay, got the, we got this field road, and we're going to we got this field road, and so we're going to walk this field road down first and get all these compaction spots down to hit it and hit it twice. We're going to hit it once, we're going to hit it again, and then uh, hit it once and you can't lift it. Now I'm hitting it again, and. Uh, then we're going to come through and uh, we're, going to, we're going to sow that wheat over there, but it's a little early to sow wheat yet, so we're not going to sow that for about, I don't know, probably another week. So, we're going to get this out of the way, and since the combine is uh, probably not running because of uh, because of issues that we don't, that I guess I'll get into, the combine is not running because. Because there was a, uh, a uh, piece of lever that went through the combine, a piece of lever tire. Uh, we, we, we were cutting beans yesterday, an extra highway, and uh, a tire blew out, supposedly. Uh, I'm using a semi. And, um, Tire blew out and went out to the bottom of the field, and it's the size, I don't know, maybe about the size of my hand, about that, like that big. I think the tire was about like that big. And uh, it uh, got to the combine and got, went to the combine and got to the, went to the unloading auger. And when it did, it's designed to go to the unloading When it went to the unloading auger, it sheared uh, the bolts, it went to the unloading auger. It sheared some bolts. It got stuck in there, and then we didn't know it. Because at that, time, at that point in time, it was empty. The combine was empty when it happened. It was at, the, at, the, at the top of the bin, and it was empty. And he then unloaded, and, and then you know didn't know, think nothing about it, and went and filled up, up the combine again. It was unloading, and got about half the bin dumped on the combine, and it got about half the bin dumped on the combine, and then it sheared. It didn't shear the bolts all the way the first time. It finished sharing the bolt the second time, and when it did, it broke. The, it bent some. It bent the shaft in there in, in a bearing, and it bent the bearing and the shaft and all that stuff up in there. And so they came out yesterday and took it all apart and ordered a new part. And I had to order a new piece, and it's not a very common problem for that to happen. So they ordered they ordered a new piece and said that it would be in a, 
will be in today at 10 o'clock. Today, it'll be 12 o'clock today, and it's currently 9.18 a.m. And uh, they're saying today, 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock is going to come in, and they'll be out here and have a show, but hopefully 2. They say only take 30 minutes, they only take 30 minutes to put on. So we'll see, I, whatever this was. So right now we're going to do, work down some of the, get some of this wheat, man, and stuff work down and uh, get some of that done. And Yeah. This is the small magnum, and uh, it's not, you can't go less fast than this one, with this one, but it's still doing a pretty good job. It's still pulling it pretty good. She knows in fact that, she knows in fact that though. But I'm just trying to get this one down, then we're going to wait till the truck comes out here. And there's a truck, but you can't see, that's the truck right there. I think I'm, there's, there's a truck, there's a truck right over there. Which I don't know if you can see that blob out right there, but he's just sitting there waiting on the tender truck, I suppose. But, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come on. I'm gonna, I might do some of this, but uh, one of the guys that helps us to go to watch this. Uh, because, as soon as they get the combine going, I need, as soon as they get the combine going, I'm gonna go in there and start, finish cutting beans on that farm. Like, we got like about 40 acres on the farm alone. And hopefully about 2 o'clock, till we, I hope I get that done, hopefully I get that done by dark. We can do it, but that's the plan. So yeah, I'm, I'm out to the shop now and I'm going to end this video just give you all an update on what's going on and I'll talk to you all later.